on the Red Horse Ranch. When the Red Horse outfit went after cattle rustlers in the Roaring River country, the sheriff's posse followed Trigger Dawson, leader of the outlaws, into the hills and fatally wounded him. It was found that Dawson had a boy living with him in his hideout, but some doubt that the boy was his son. Against the wishes of everyone on Red Horse Ranch, Alabama has sent Tenderfoot to Roaring River to bring the boy back to the ranch. Down in Arkansas, the only gal I ever loved. Had a gal, her name was Till, down in Arkansas. I loved her once and I love her still, down in Arkansas. Pigeon toes and hair jet black, was so cross-eyed for a fact. She cried and tears rolled down her back, down in Arkansas. Down in Arkansas, down in Arkansas, down in Arkansas. The only gal I ever loved. Deacon Jones had a set in hand down in Arkansas. Gave it to my brother Ben down in Arkansas. From a pair of pants, Ben made a nest. Told that hen to do her best. That hen hatched out a cold and vest down in Arkansas. Down in Arkansas, down in Arkansas, down in Arkansas. The only gal I ever loved. the kid when Tenderfoot brings him in. Well, that boy is not going to stay here if I've got anything to say about it. Well, it seems like you ain't. Alabama sent Tenderfoot over there to Roaring River to bring the boy back with him. They ought to be here by this time, too. Well, Carter's going to put a stop to it. Don't think he's going to like the idea of bringing in the son of a cattle thief to live on his ranch. Why in tarnation was Alabama so set on bringing that kid here? Oh, he sort of thinks it's our responsibility to take care of the kid as long as he ain't got a dad anymore. Well, you just remember what I said. There's going to be trouble when that doggy comes on the place. He's been brought up with the whole past of outlaws, ain't saw nothing but shooting all his life. Why, well, like as not killed a couple of homers yourself. We don't know nothing about that kid. Boys, like would you mind singing something till Cheyenne gets the wind out of his right, sails? Yeah. Okay, Sky. I wondered if ever a cow 
would drift to that sweet by and by. The road to that bright, happy region is a dim, narrow trail, so they say. But the broad one that leads to perdition is posted. Say to the boss of the riders, I'm ready, come drive me away. They say there will be a great round up, and the cowboys like dogies will stand to be marked by the riders of judgment. Posted and know every brand. I don't like the idea at all. Well, that trigger Dawson's got more crimes laid to him than a dog's got fleas. Like as not, the law will be suspecting this whole red horse outfit of some bank robbery when they see us harboring that law kid. Now, Tex, I don't like the how idea. about stuffing your boot in Cheyenne's yeah, yeah. mouth? Yeah, Ain't nothing here. else will stop him. <laughs> that ought to stop him for good. <laughs> Listen, fellas, we got nothing against the Dawson kid. He might not even be Dawson's son. Some folks doubt it. But just the same, there may be some truth in what Cheyenne's saying. Well, he's going to be Alabama's responsibility. Let him do the worrying. Where's Alabama now? Out watching for him? Well, last time I saw him, he was up on the veranda talking to Rose. You know, I've been sort of wondering about Alabama and Rose. Till Tenderfoot came to the Red Horse, I sort of thought they'd get hitched someday. I thought she treated Alabama pretty cool the other night at the dance. Oh, they had a little trouble, but it didn't mean nothing. Well, Tenderfoot thinks a heap of Miss Rose. You just ask her sometime. Alabama's the only fellow she's got an eye for. Of course, she likes Tenderfoot, but I don't think she even suspects he cares for her. Now, don't none of you go telling around what I said. Oh, sure, we won't do nothing like that. Well... Arizona started on that guitar again. Let me get over to my doghouse. This boy, what do you know about him? Well, I think you know as much as I do, Mr. Carter. Tenderfoot ought to be back with him now, any time. Going to be mighty bad, Alabama. I'm sorry you didn't talk to me a little more before you decided to bring the boy over here. But, Dad, let's wait and see what the kid's like. And if we find that he can't fit in, then we can send him back. Send him back where? He has no mother. His dad's gone. That's right might be a good thing he is. I just can't see it any other way, Mr. Carter. Let's give the boy a chance, Dad. He won't be any bother to you. Why, we'll hardly know he's here. Well, what do the rest of the boys think about it? Well, I'll admit they ain't so sold on the idea of having an outlaw son for a boarder, but I'm going to do something for the poor kid. Oh, look, there's Tenderfoot now. Sure enough, and the boy's with him. Mm -hmm. Gosh, he's really a swell kid, Rose. Uh, stop out front here, Tenderfoot. I want Dad and Rose to meet the young fella. Hi, right, Alabama. Oh, oh, Prince. Well, this is your new home. You can get down now. Come on, folks, let's make him feel at home. Come on up here on the porch, mister, and meet the big boss. No, the poor little fellow. So that's the boy. I'll take huh? Prince down to the corral and be right back, Alabama. All right. Well, here he is, young Mr. Dawson. I'd like you to meet my two pals, Rose and Mr. Carter. Uh, howdy, kid, howdy. Hello there, Sonny. Won't you shake hands with me? <laughs> You're going to say something to the folks, ain't you? 
Where's my pappy? Oh, oh I, uh, you tell him your name, young fella. Where's my pappy? Well, I'll tell you all about that later. Oh, well, Alabama, he doesn't even realize what's happened yet. What's his name? Dewey. Dewey Dawson. I guess he's a little lost. Of course. Uh, I'll have the boys come up. They'll cheer him oh, up. That's an you idea. go ahead and talk to him, Rose. All uh, right. Hey, Bob. Cheyenne. Hey, yeah. come on up to the house. Oh, right. look. Look, is that your dog, Dewey? Of course he is. Who'd you think he was? Oh, <laughs> why, why, sure. I should have known that. We're going to like having you here. What's the dog's name? Elizabeth, of course. Oh. Uh-huh. Just what I was afraid of. Please, Dad, not in front of him. Come on, fellas, bring your guitars. Oh, oh Dewey, I want you to meet the swellest passel of cow hands in the West. As Tex, Idaho, Bob, Cheyenne, and Arizona. Hi. Well, why, I bet there's a lot of muscle in them arms, Buster. My name ain't Buster, it's Dewey. Ha, 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 that's a good one. Get along, little do we get along. <laughs> now listen, fellas, don't start that. Play him something. Sure. Say, I bet he'd like to hear Pony Boy. How about it, Dewey? Sure. Let's go, sure. boys. Sure. Yeah. Pony Boy, Pony Boy, won't you be my toy? Afraid he would trade his little heart away, his little heart away. So each little peach made a nice little speech of love to him. Pony boy, pony boy, won't you be my pony boy? Don't say no, here we go off across the plains. Carry me, carry me right away with you. Give, 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 oh, I'm pony boy. Oh. <laughs> How'd you like that, Dewey? <laughs> My gosh, Alabam, don't he like nothing? Hey. It's Elizabeth. Yeah, looks more like a sheep to me. It's got a sheep's head. Yes, neither got no sheep's head. Arizona, lay off the boy. He's just getting acquainted. Come here, Pooch. Watch me throw my voice at him. Now listen. You leave him alone. You touch him and I'll lift your head off. Get out of here. Come on, please. Come on, Come on. You leave him alone. We can't get along that way, little fella. Why, these boys all like you. We better not talk about my dog. It's mine. Its name is Littlebit. Well, I'll tell you. You bring your pop gun and your bare bones and your horned toad, and we'll go down to the bunkhouse. Leave us alone for a while, will you, fella? Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> and to think I'll have to sleep in a that undergrown wildcat. Oh, that poor boy. I wonder how I'm going to tell Alabama that that boy must leave this ranch. We can't help feeling sorry for the boy, can we? But perhaps Mr. Carter is right. 